Welcome to our lecture online and here's our next example of how to find the volume of something that we rotate. Here we're taking uh, the uh, circle equation again, x squared plus y squared equals 1, so we have a nice circle here. All right. Then we have another equation, y equals 1 half, right here, the line, and so you can see that the circle is being uh, cut here by this line and we want to take this area right here and rotate this area about the y-axis. What that does is it creates kind of like a dome shape uh, I try to draw it right here. So here's the top of the uh, of the sphere now, because what you get now is a sphere. When you take the whole thing and rotate it around, if you take this whole circle rot rotate around, you get a sphere. It's basically cutting off the top of the sphere, and there it is. And we're trying to find the volume of that. How do we do that? Again, we try to find a, the correct dv, a correct small volume section right here. And so let's do that. Let's slice it like this. Let's take a slice like that. And this would there, there be, uh, therefore be our dv. And so let's draw the dv out to the side so we can take a look at it. It's always a good idea to take your dv and set it to the side and take a close look at it. When you do that, your dv would look like this. It would look like a disc. There's a small little thickness. Like that. And so the radius of the disc, of course, would be r. And the thickness of the disc would be dy, right? Because it would be a small little thickness in the y direction. So we call that a small little dy. And so the r, the radius, would be this distance right there from the y-axis out to the edge of that disk. Okay, now we want to define the volume of that. So that would be a small little volume segment dv, and the volume would therefore be equal to pi r squared, which would be the area of this disk, times the thickness dy. And of course, r and y are not the same variables, so now we have to convert r into x and y variables. So notice that this distance right here is from the y-axis to the edge of that disk, so that would be defined as x, so we can write this now as pi x squared dy. But we still cannot integrate x's and y's in the same integral, so now we have to convert from the x squared in terms of y. So we look up here, we can say, all right, uh, x squared therefore is equal to 1 minus y squared, so instead of writing x squared, we can write 1 minus y squared, so our small little volume segment is equal to pi times 1 minus y squared dy, and now I'm ready to integrate that. Now I can find the total volume, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this all up, add up all the slices, summing up all the slices like taking the integral. So therefore v is equal to the integral of all the little dv's, which is equal to the integral of all d, and I can take the pi outside integral sign, so pi times 1 minus y squared dy, and the limits of integration, I'm going to integrate from here to there. So that would be from 0.5 all the way up to y equals 1. So from y equals 1 half to y equals 1 are the proper limits in this case. That's a fairly easy integral to integrate, so let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to pi times integrate 1, that becomes y, minus integrate y squared, that becomes y cubed, divided by 3, and the integral limits are 1 half, 2, 1, so I can plug in the limits, when I plug in the upper limit, so v is equal to pi times, when I plug in the upper limit I get 1 minus 1 third, minus when I plug in the lower limit, and of course always use parentheses so you don't make a sign error, so minus, plug in the lower limit I get 1 half, minus, when I plug in 1 half there I get 1 half quantity cubed divided by 3. Okay, now we need to do a little arithmetic here, make sure we get this right. So we have v is equal to pi times 1 minus a third uh, minus, I'm going to leave the parentheses on for one more iteration, because uh, here we have 1 8 divided by 3, which is 1 24th. So minus 1 24th, like that. Now we can get rid of parentheses by applying the negative sign. So this is equal to uh, pi times 1 minus a third minus a half plus 1 over 24. Okay, to add all that together, we want to find the common denominator. So v is equal to, it looks like common denominator is 24, so pi times uh, 24 over 24 minus 3 goes into 24 8 times, that would be 8 over 24, 2 goes into 24 12 times, so that would be minus 12 over 24, and then plus 1 over 24. Okay, so minus 8 minus 12, that's minus 20. Subtract from 24 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So finally, v is equal to 5 pi over 24. And that would be the 
final volume of this section of that sphere. And that's how we do that.